There are very few cases like mine who are breakthrough cases that end up contracting COVID even after being vaccinated. An Arizona lawmaker who has been fully vaccinated for two months now just tested positive for COVID-19. You know, yet it's rare, but it does happen. 3TV's Kara Hay spoke with Representative Hernandez earlier today. You know, Kara, we were talking about this earlier. When you really take a look at the data, it's not 100% effective, but it's supposed to at least, at least keep you out of the hospital. How's she feeling tonight? Well, she's definitely a little under the weather. She has many of the classic COVID symptoms like loss of taste and smell. But despite her diagnosis, she says if it wasn't for the vaccine, she knows things could have been much worse. It's called a vaccine breakthrough case when someone who is fully vaccinated still contracts COVID-19. This is State Representative Alma Hernandez. Today on Twitter, Representative Alma Hernandez announced she's one of them. I started feeling extremely fatigued yesterday. I had a migraine and suddenly lost my sense of smell and taste. The District 3 state rep from Tucson, who has a background in public health, says although she took two shots two months ago and continues to follow CDC safety precautions like wearing a face mask and social distancing, she still got the virus. And you can too. I think there's a false sense of security that the vaccine is 100% protective and it's not. Dr. Christopher Vanda Wettering says the vaccine doesn't necessarily prevent you from contracting the virus, but it can prevent you from becoming dangerously ill. Like when you protect your house with a security system, you have the locks on your doors, but you also have your alarm system. And the two things together, you know, increase your odds of, you know, of protecting your house and keeping someone from coming in. Same thing with with vaccines and, and, and masks. According to the CDC's website, breakthrough cases can be a result of ever-evolving variants. There are a lot of unknowns, but the CDC says it's monitoring these cases and checking for patterns. Regardless, Representative Hernandez says despite her diagnosis, it's important that everyone gets the shot. My situation would be much worse right now if it weren't for me being vaccinated. Now, all of the representatives' colleagues who were in close proximity to her in the chamber will be voting virtual this week. So far, everyone has tested negative, but they will not be able to return to the House until a second negative test next week. In the newsroom, Kiara Hay, Arizona's Family.